YouTube. <laughs> okay, so I've got a really cool video for you today. This one is literally going to blow your mind. So I'm super excited. I've got to calm myself down a little bit. This is um, this is incredible. So recently, the channel has been going through a little bit of a lull, a bit of a dull patch, and the reason is because you're lazy. I've been busy. I've been working on my other things, other businesses and stuff like that. So I haven't had as much time to get into this. So what that means is that I need to use clickbait creativity to get these videos out and share them with you and, you know, cause a bit of a drama and get some excitement going. So in this video, unfortunately, I haven't managed to get my hands on the latest and greatest graphics card from NVIDIA the RTX 2090. However, I do have a friend called The Captain and he's helped me to put this video together for you guys. So The Captain's gonna help me show you the graphics card, the RTX 2090. He's gonna do a quick unboxing, he's gonna take a quick overview of the PCB and then we're gonna do some mining benchmarks with it. So super exciting and I'm really Excited to share this uh, you know, with you. It is a bit of an exclusive. No one else has got this content. It's just my own thing. And of course, with the help of the captain. So let's jump into it and uh, let's get going here. Hello, YouTube. Today we're gonna to take a look at the new RTX 2090 from the region. So yeah, let's take a look at the beast. And here it is. As you may have figured out, this is a dual GPU version of the 2080 Ti. So there's in fact two Turing GPUs on it. I think it's something the video did to save space for mini ATX builds. So yeah, it's a nice card. Uh, before I take it for test run, I will uh, try to sample it to see how it looks like. Okay, so that was the captain doing the unboxing of the graphics card. I think you'll agree, it looks absolutely amazing. That long but slender design. You've got the quad fans that should help keep it cool. I don't know if you quite noticed it in there as well, but there's also that, you know, uh, custom aluminium back plate that looks cool. That should also help with cooling when it comes to mining. In case you didn't catch those specs, it supports uh, 22 gigabytes of GDR6 RAM and also 8,704 CUDA cores. Pretty impressive specs. You're basically getting two 2080 Ti's on a single card. So this is pretty impressive. Now we're going to jump over to the next part, which is a closer look at the PCB of this graphics card. So let's move over to that section now. And yeah, here it is. As you can see, uh, it's a nice little board and here are the two Turing uh, GPUs and a hell lot of VRAM. Okay, so thanks again to the captain. He's just shown us the PCB. A great looking PCB, I think you'll agree, although it's obviously quite a long, but you can see both of those 2080 GPU cores connected by that central CPU, which is acting like a PCI bus, getting everything connected together. You might have also noticed that the RAM um, dotted around, obviously lots of memory on that PCB, 22 gigabytes, in fact. We might have also noticed as well is the four eight pin PCI Express connectors. Obviously there was on the top right hand side. So that means that this power or the power consumption of this card is probably going to be around about 600 watts. It is a monster of a card. Now let's take a look at the card when it's up and running on the machine and then we can get into some benchmarks. Well, here's the card assembled on my test bank. I use a Asus Z. 170 motherboard paired with the Core i7 7700K and uh, yeah, it should be ready for boot so uh, I will turn the system on. And the benchmark is now running and it has some uh, good FPS. So yeah, and the score is not bad but it is however the same as two 2080 Ti's. So yeah, I wonder if there's anything we could do about that. Right, so that was the RTX 2090 running in a low power mode. Didn't even have the PCI Express power connectors connected, but even still, we still managed to get a great mining performance. So it's really incredible. But I think what's gonna blow your mind this time is the captain has actually got something special. He's actually got quite a few of these cards. 
And what is agreed to do is kind of do a full setup. So now you're gonna see a quad card array and it's gonna show you the full mining performance of these beasts when they're all linked up together. So let's take a look at that now. I'm really excited to share this with you. Hmm, two NV ports. <laughs> and I surprisingly have happened to have uh, three uh, cards by my side. So yeah, I think you can see where this is going. And now are the four cards put together in Envy Link. They are a bit close to each other, but it should be fine for, for this little test run. And look at the benchmark. The FPS is, is really high. It's, it's, it's just amazing. It's, it's way better than before. So it's, it's, it's just fantastic. It, 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 it couldn't be better. It's, it's, it's really, really, really nice. Uh, 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 what? No, 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 no. Shit, uh, holy cola. Uh, oh, that's a torch. Oh, I actually needed this. So I figured out uh, running the cards so close together gave a few cooling issues. Okay, so there's obviously a little bit of drama there. The GPU rig, it seems that it was too close, got a bit too hot, there was coke and urine and all sorts of stuff going on. But the captain has informed me he's alive and well, obviously no problems there, no serious injuries. And also the GPUs, they're okay as well. But I don't think we're gonna see any more mining benchmarks for quite some time. Okay guys, so that's just about it for this video. I do sincerely hope you've enjoyed watching it. I've enjoyed creating it. And with the massive help, thanks to the captain, um, this guy puts out videos like this. He's only done them once a year. They normally come out on April Fools, funnily enough. And this guy creates these amazing GPUs, PCBs, everything, and he puts these videos together. They're really funny, really entertaining. So it's a huge thanks to him that I've been able to make this video. Links in the description, go and check out that guy's videos. And also his uh, Facebook page, he puts out all sorts of different uh, pictures and posts and stuff like that. The PCBs and stuff, it's, it's absolutely incredible. So unfortunately, I can't get my hands on a uh, RTX 2090 for the foreseeable future but of course if I do manage to get one I'll be following up to this video with a in-depth and um, you know more informative benchmarking video series but I do hope you enjoyed it. it you know I did just try to have a little bit of fun with this one and um, hopefully that comes across in the video and um, you sort of see the funny side of it so thank you so much for watching give it a like if you did like it yeah, leave a comment all that sort of good stuff and thank you so much I'll see you guys on the next video Bye.